This is a guide on how Smogon tournaments work. They can be a little complicated and the main difference is that these are not live tournaments. They take place over the course of one week, so you have to schedule your game. And I'll explain what that means later, but first of all, how do you sign up for a tournament? If you go onto the Smogon forums, and I assume you have a Smogon account at this point, you have to go all the way to the bottom where you see the tournament section. There are a lot of different tournaments you can sign up for, and I'll go into the tournament structure at a later date. But basically, if you click on any of these links, you'll be able to find tournaments you may be interested in. So Smogon, Old Gens, Other Circuits, whatever it is. So for example, Old Gen Metagames, you have to search for something who says signups are open. So if you look through here, we can see that Generation 3, there's a tournament that's already in round 1, you cannot sign up for that. But if you look, there is a Generation 2 tournament that you can sign up for. So you can click on that and all you have to do to sign up for a tournament is you have to type in the word IN. That's all you do. If you type in the word in, you are in the tournament. That's it. That's how it works. Now, what happens after you type in? Typically on Monday after you sign up, you will get a notification that the tournament has started. So if you go to your notifications at the top right, you'll see that you got tagged in something. In this situation, I got tagged for a little cup open round one. So I go here and I search for my name in the list. I found my opponent. And now what do I do now that I found my opponent? What I do is I go to their smoke on wall and I try and schedule a time. So if you look, we go back to the tournament itself. There is a deadline to get the game done. Typically, it's one week. Sometimes it may be two weeks. Right now, it is April 11th and the due date is April 24th. So I can play my opponent anytime between the 11th and the 24th. It's up to me and my opponent. We can schedule a time, a date, whatever it is. And that is really the main difference between this and a live tour. You have to schedule your games. So I go to my opponent's profile. And if they message you first, then you don't need to go on their profile, obviously. And I'll say, hey, I'm your opponent for Little Cup Open. When do you want to play? And you should know your time zone. So I am GMT minus four, that is East Coast USA. You should know your time zone. You will have to convert your time zone if your opponent is in a different time zone than you. I am free, whatever time you're free. I try to be specific about it. The, the end goal is you want to be able to uh, play a game. And you should be flexible because oftentimes people have jobs, they have school. You might have to be flexible, so just give a time, you're free. So you, you post this on your wall and you try to agree to a time. Now, there are some scheduling guidelines. This is how it could look, for example. This is how an example conversation could look. Maybe you guys couldn't agree on a time. You can get an extension for the game. What that means is that if you really can't find a time in the one week or two weeks you have, you can try and schedule a different time with an extension. And if you truly cannot schedule a time with you and your opponent, the game will be coin flipped. And say your opponent is not responding, then you're eligible for a free win. And say you and your opponent schedule a game, but they don't show up for the game, like they just don't show up. Then you would be eligible for a free win as well. And typically the main idea is you have to schedule with your opponent. That's a really big part. You do have to be a little bit active on the forums to make sure you reply to your opponent's messages and then figure out a time you can play. Well, that's basically it. You can play on Pokemon Showdown or you can play on the tournament server as well. That's not a really big deal. Both are okay. And once you win, all you do is post one GG. You don't have to even say GG. You don't even have to post your replays. Uh, some people like to be secretive about their replays and you're, that's totally your call. You don't have to post replays. It's still a good idea to save the replays just in case your opponent disputes the result. But typically people do not dispute the result. I've never actually seen that happen before. But save the replays just to be safe, but you do not have to post the replays. And then in one week, you'll get the notification for round two, then the round three and round four, and hopefully you win the tournament. And that's basically how it works. If you have any more questions, join my Discord server or let me know down in the comments below. I'll try to be responsive in the comments, but I believe this is the basic idea of how you play in Smogon tournaments.